All right, guys, welcome back to the third part of my tutorial. And if you guys have been following this, the, like I said, this is the third part. So if you have gotten to the third part before you did the first part, you might need to go back a little bit or you can just start with the second part, you know, whatever. So what this tutorial is going to teach you how to do um, is how to edit your settings in your router. And like I said, I am using a D-Link router. My IP address is 192.168.01. Um, it might be different, you know, whatever it was in that very first tutorial. Um, and so, and the thing about this is, like I said, this is D-Link. So depending on what router you have, the settings might be in a different spot. So you just have to finagle a little bit. You have to go through and just start clicking stuff until you find out what I am or what I have. Sorry. So what you want to do first is you want to do the default router gateway login. Okay. Now. If you don't know that, you can Google it. Um, but depending on what router you have, I am a cable technician, so I, usually I can tell you what uh, what your router login is. And now, if someone's changed the settings on there, on the back of your uh, router, there is a pinhole on there. Now you can hold that in for 10 seconds, or well, they say 30 seconds. Uh, do 30 seconds. You hold it in there until everything resets, and it'll reset the default password and everything so back to the original. So what the original usually is, is for like mine just said password. That's because I said it like that. Normally it'll say like admin and password. So our username and password, you know? So what it always usually is, it's either admin and password for a password, password for the password, admin for the username, or it'd be admin, admin. Uh, if you have a UB, it's user, user, uh, just depending on, you can go and uh, Google it. Google is your friend so you can get into your router. So once you're inside of your router, you want to go to, well, in mine, it's the advanced tab. I'm not really sure what it's going to be like in yours. Like I said, you'll have to go through the settings. You'll have to figure out which one it is. So you have to go into the advanced tab and right here, you'll see port forwarding and the DMZ. Now you can see my DMZ is already set up and I do have a drop down. Now see my router does um, notice everything like the Xbox and everything like that and it actually will save everything depending on the Mac address of the device some people's routers don't do that so therefore this tutorial all the tutorials I've done so far I'm going based off that your router doesn't do that because um, there's actually simpler ways to do all this but I just wanted to do the long way because it's it's more concrete and it's good learning experience for everybody um, especially if you're young if you know how to do this stuff you know grown-ups be amazed um, so let's get right back into it. So the very first place that I recommend that I use personally myself is the DMZ. Um, so basically what the DMZ does is it puts everything outside of the firewall, which is awesome because what, what you do with the port forwarding right over here is what you're actually going to do is you're going to start typing in ports, um, port numbers and everything like that. And what that will do is open up. Oh, it'll what it'll do is tell your router's firewall to hey let these signals come into this one device. But what the DMZ will do, excuse me, <clears throat> I need to drink water. What the DMZ will do, not scheduled. There we go. Yeah, is just open, just take your Xbox and sit on the outside of your router. So let's say you know you let's say you have a modem and a router. Um, let's uh, instead of being the modem router Xbox in theory, it'll be the modem Xbox router Okay um, And that's how the router thinks all right So what you want to do is you want to enable the DMZ host and then whatever you named it back in your Xbox um, And you can go back to your internet settings and check it out um, But like mine is 169. So if you followed mine and put 169 or 69, whatever you want to put that here. You want to put 192.168, you know, whatever your IP address is, if there was a one there, and you want to put that right there. And then you're going to want to hit save. All right. And so what that's going to do is, like I said, it's just going to open it everything up. And after you get all that done, and if you're, if you're done with it, if you don't want to worry about the port forwarding, because this is very effective, um, I, I use it on my own personal Xbox. <clears throat> so if you want to do all that, what you want to do is you want to save it. And then you, what I usually do is I power cycle everything. Um, now you guys already power cycled your Xbox Ones, but I'd still recommend doing it all. I'd unplug everything, um, unplug my router, unplug my modem. Um, I am, I'm not using a combo. Some internet service providers like Time Warner Cable, because that's what I work for. We actually use combos in a lot of things, unless you own your own personal stuff. 
but go ahead and un power cycle everything. Unplug it all. What? Your Xbox One, hold down the power button for 10 seconds, let everything reset, plug it all back up, and then go back and make sure you have an open NAT type. Um, if you don't have an open NAT type, you might need to wait a minute, let everything get situated. I would say wait like 15 minutes, um, and then do a hard reset. Who's this? Tommy Boy, Kentucky. And then do a hard reset and everything like that on your um, Xbox again. Sometimes it just takes a minute to set concrete. Um, and like I said, on the PlayStation 4 users, if you've been following me along, um, same principle. You just want to power cycle everything. Um, and what, what will happen on the PlayStation 4 is sometimes if you do a speed test on the PlayStation 4, you're only getting like 10 or 13 megabytes download. Once you do all this and follow my tutorials, what that'll do is actually hit you up in the 20s usually. Um, now keep in mind, the PlayStation 4 is capped out. Um, the highest I've ever gotten, their servers are actually capped out at like 20. The highest I've ever gotten was like 22. Um, so, you know, sorry. Um, Xbox servers, we really don't have a cap like that. So, uh, um, so haha on you, PlayStation users. Um, but yeah, so let's get started with the port forwarding. All right. So first off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up a new tab um, or what I want to do because I wasn't prepared for that. I don't know what I was thinking is I'm going to type in Xbox one ports. There it is. So on the my Xbox one, you're going to see the ports, the TCP and UDP. Um, these are the ports it's going to use. So what I'm going to do is actually you copy right here and this is going to be in my description of the video so you can actually just go down you don't have to do all this and then I'm going to go back to port forwarding and I'm going to activate there's the very first one I'm going to name it XB1 uh, type in my well actually I can just go computer name and I can look for my computer there it is squishies I can shoot that over there um, or you can just type it in okay uh, depending on what your stuff does um, and what I say that one is the TCP so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in now some routers keep in mind some routers you have to like mine will let me use commas some routers you actually have to do one port like TCP for the first one then you gotta go click the second one type in XB2 and you gotta go type in the IP address copy paste it go you know you gotta make here you go I'll just show you like 53 there then you gotta do 80 here And you got to go activate it again, and it's that, and that's how some are. Mine, on the other hand, is not like that. If you have a new wireless AC router, they're probably not going to be like that. Um, so I can do that, and then I can go back and I can select all these ones for the UDP. There we go. And then an inbound filter all. That's good. Let me uncheck that one. And then I can hit save. Now, after I hit save, what that'll do is it'll just those are all the ports that your Xbox One server talks on. Um, and that, you know, it's very simple. A lot of people are like, oh my God, it's hard to open up ports, but that's just how simple it is. Um, but like I said, you can use the DMZ. If the DMZ is not working for you, just, just make sure if you're gonna use port forwarding, make sure you go back to the DMZ and disable it and then go do the port forwarding. Um, you can mess with the two. And like I said, if you have two devices in your house that you want like that, or two Xboxes, you can do the exact same thing, set both of them a different static IP address, put one on the DMZ and one on the port forwarding. Go back to the port forwarding. Wait, that didn't not save. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure. Um, uh, what was another thing I need to say? Um, my network. Another thing I've noticed, like mine has um, st uh, stream boost. I had to take my stream boost off. So if you're if you have a D link and you have stream boost, make sure you take that damn thing off. See how it says Qualcomm Stream Boost? It actually um, messed up my internet really bad, and it took a while. I thought this router was dead in the water. I went and got a new router. Oh, and that's another thing. If you guys have T-Mobile, um, or if your parents have T-Mobile, whatever the case may be, you can actually walk in there and tell them you want one of the routers, and they'll give you a router for free, an Asus router. I believe I... Let me grab it real quick. Sorry, it's behind my TV. All right, well, I think I done lost you. Yep, there we go. I don't have my green screen up right now. All right, here we go. There we 
There we go. So if you guys can see that, that's the router T-Mobile gives you. Right there. It's pretty nice. Wireless AC. And it says T-Mobile right there. And it's a TM-AC1900. So, and they give this to you for free, one per customer. So that's pretty amazing. Now, I don't use it. I've been using my D-Link router just because, you know, that's, that's just because. Um, but yeah, so pretty much that's it. That's the end of this tutorial. Um, and if you guys like this tutorial, oh, hang on a minute. My daughter's calling me. What is she doing? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'm not really sure what my daughter's doing. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this tutorial, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Make sure you like all my videos. Make sure you guys subscribe to me. Um, and you guys can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at the real squishy that all them links will be down in my description also. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If you guys have any questions, any doubts, anything like that, let me know. I'll answer them. Um, and this is squishy signing out of here. I want to play some art.